Hey, it's Mr. Shrum, and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology. I'm just going to go over some of the basics of the course and how to navigate um, the Edmentum material. So let's click on the Getting Started course resources. Welcome to Anatomy. You can read through these Getting Started documents like the syllabus. And it briefly describes the course and it takes a systemic approach to anatomy. And you can kind of see that in how the units are laid out. Unit one, cells, skins, and sensory organs, the stuff you can sense with, right? Digestive and skeletal systems, muscular system and articulation, nervous and circulatory systems, respiratory, urinary, and all that other good stuff. And within each section here, there is a checklist and it outlines the tasks for each section. There is a lesson portion where it will give you an MP4 or a PDF um, version of the lesson that you can review field trip. That links to some online sites and articles with additional information if you're more interested in a certain topic. Discussion. So this year we are including class discussion uh, topics. And I will uh, look over those as you complete them, but they shouldn't be terribly difficult. Anatomy check. So there is a flashcard activity that you can use to help um, identify certain uh, body parts or systems. Vocab check, uh, same concept except with words. So that can, you can test yourself before tests with anatomy checks or vocab checks. And then there are two quizzes. Anatomy quiz, um, that assessment is focusing on how you, how well you can identify the structures in uh, the human anatomy. And then content quiz, that is mostly about lesson and vocab comprehension. Pacing and grading, each section of this work uh, course, excuse me, is designed to be completed in about one week's time. If you have less time to complete the course, you may need to move through the sections more quickly. Uh, thankfully, we don't need to do that. Uh, and there is a pacing guide at the homepage for anatomy. Let's go back. Course outline and pacing guide. Let me uh, pull this up. Okay. So oh well, this document doesn't really tell you. Yeah, let me just go back to the excuse me. There we go. Course outline, parent guide, if your parents are interested. This is just a brief parent guide. It goes over the same stuff, really. And Here we go, getting started, course outline and pacing guide, technology requirements. And some recommended websites that can help. Um, 
Body and Mind, BAM, Center for Disease Control, uh, through the CDC, Eat Right, Girls Health, Health.gov, Mayo Clinic, U.S. National Library of Medicine, um, and then how to evaluate credible resources. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. Um, eventually, every librarian will explain this to you. So hopefully, you understand it by now. Um, but you do want to keep an eye out for uh, less than trustworthy sources. Um, if they're trying to sell you something, chances are um, they're not all that trustworthy. So that's it for Welcome to Anatomy. And then the course introduction gives you a, an example of the checklist, the lessons. So you can open the MP4 version. Yeah, so I think you can hear that. Welcome to Anatomy. This course is brought to you by Stone Fitness. In this course, you will explore the anatomy and structure of the human body. This course takes a systemic approach to anatomy. You will study each body part according to its body system. This course focuses mainly However, functions and functional and systemic work together to, to analyze anatomy and physiology. Instructor, no. No cheating or plagiarism will be tolerated. If you have questions or need clarification on anything, please contact the lessons. If you have questions or need clarification at any time, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor. Good luck. So, yeah. Um, so if you like the videos, that's fine too. But they also have a PDF version where it's just the slides, and then you can just read through them. And that's usually how I go through this anatomy course. And so whatever seems more helpful to you. You can go through the MP4 one or the PDF version of the lessons. This one talks about course tasks and explains how to navigate each strip. Checklist, lesson, field trip, discussion, assignment, anatomy check, quizzes. So of the weekly tasks, there's the discussion, the assignment, and then two quizzes. And there's also the unit exam at the end of each unit. And then there's a, a comprehensive final at the end of the course. So that can be a little tricky. And we'll study for that when the time comes for uh, the unit test. Yeah, I would suggest taking notes um, if you're familiar with Cornell notes or some type of method, systemic, systematic note taking method that works for you, that would be great. And then discussion, so this discussion is just introducing yourself. Um, you can include things like your family, hobbies, sports, uh, likes and dislikes, um, like painting, do you play guitar, do you like to run? Um, do you work? 
things like that. Uh, keep it simple. Unless you like talking about yourself, then go ahead and go crazy. And then this assignment for the course introduction is a course contract. Let's see if I need to. So this is um, a more formal document. So be sure to read that and make sure you're comfortable with everything it says. And then, ah, okay, we're back. And then the quiz, intro quiz to test your knowledge and comprehension of the discussed topics. So it could be true, false, it could be matching things, or it can be multiple choice. So we went over getting started, course introduction. Here's the intro discussion. Oh, it's, it's my teacher view. And then intro assignment course contract. So those are the two things you need to do. Uh, I guess for this week, and then maybe get into section 1.1, according to the pacing guideline. So let's see, let's see the intro quiz. Oh, I don't wanna give the answers all the way right now. Which of the following are presentations that contain all the essential information you need to know for this section? That sounds a lot like that one. In this course, it's recommended that you do all the following except. Yeah, um, this one doesn't seem so good. Your discussion board postings will be graded on all of the following except. Oh, yeah, we don't need that one. Which of the following is an overview of tasks to be completed in each section? That's the checklist. So you get it. And from the teacher view, there's 10. I think on the student, it's like five questions, but it may also be 10 as well. <laughs> But that's it for the intro. So take a look around, see what you think. And then look through the pacing guide. And if you're one of those people that likes to write things out and plan in a little planner, monthly, weekly planner, I would look at these dates and try to stick to them as much as possible. So by the end of this week, you wanna be in 1.1 Intro to Anatomy. Uh, by the end of next week, next Friday is September 3rd, so you wanna be in 1.2. So if you're completing a section per week, you should be good. And then the first half of this course is anatomy focused. And then you'll realize mid-year, there's a comprehensive final exam for anatomy specifically. And then there's physiology. Physiology, I'm sure you're like, wait, is not anatomy physiology? Or isn't that just, two sides of the same coin, and yes and no. So it, it looks like you're going through very similar things, but you're discussing it uh, from a different angle. But we'll get into more of that next time. But until then, 
good luck. And as long as you stick to the pacing guide, you should be fine. All right, that's all for the intro. Good luck. And if you have any questions, message me in Canvas and I will be sure to help you out as soon as possible. All right, see you later.